all right so um, hello everyone uh, so we are going to start a new tutorial series called uh, rts game which is uh, we are going to create a real time strategy game uh, with all the necessary uh, core functionalities um, so here is the uh, end product that we are going to uh, create within this uh, tutorial series um, so first i will uh, play the game and then you will get an idea about what it is um, okay so uh, this is what we are going to create basically it is uh, uh, rts game where you can uh, freely move around the map also you can zoom out and zoom in as well as you can rotate the map okay so basically it includes uh, core a camera control uh, that you can see in any sort of uh, RTS game and uh, we have several building type so here I have a lumber hut which uh, spawn uh, lumbers to uh, harvest the resources from trees and I have a barn which spawns farmers uh, who are responsible for harvesting foods from this sort of uh, resources and I have a mine which uh, spawn miners and uh, they basically mine stones from these sort of resources um, and here you can see in the uh, HUD we have uh, three icons uh, with respect to each and every resources so whenever a worker is harvesting a specific resources uh, these UI components will be updated uh, and finally we have a house component which is basically uh, spawning uh, citizens uh, and they are uh, generating money plus they are consuming the resources as well okay uh, so you can see this is the generic structure of uh, any sort of rts game and uh, yeah so let's try to place a lumber hut over here okay so you can see actually you know the material color has been changed uh, to uh, you know some sort of green color because we, we are going to place that building on the map and once you placed it actually it is constructing and after it is constructed a lumber will be spawned and move to the move towards the resource and start harvesting and once harvested you can see it will bring to the resource back to the lumber hut and once the resource is processed it is updated on real time great um, so likewise actually you can place uh, multiple lumber huts uh, plus uh, we are going to actually uh, integrate the features for this sort of collision handling as well so uh, there will be no uh, building overlaps as well okay uh, so I'll place another lumber hut over here and you can see another number is moving towards the resource and start harvesting okay um so likewise i can place maybe a barn over here and maybe here as well and you can see former girl character is spawned and she's harvested resources and bring that to the resource base which eventually update uh, the resource catalog okay uh, so finally we have a miner so let's place some of these mines in some random places like this so they are mining the resources from these stone resource types and building and uh, bring bring back those resources back to the uh, parent resource building okay great um so basically uh, those are the workers that we are going to create uh, in this tutorial series so we basically we have three types of workers we have lumbers and we have farmers as well as we have miners uh, then actually we can place house like this on the map uh, so basically they are not spawning any citizens on the map 
unless they are consuming the resources when you are trying to construct a building plus uh, they are generating uh, revenue for us so you can see that in each period of time they are generating some sort of some amount of coins great um, so that's it uh, for this visualization basically these are the core game features that we are going to implement uh, plus when it comes to the level design uh, we are going to follow a very uh, a procedural way of generating our maps so here you can see we have uh, several uh, resources spawned in the map uh, actually these components are not spawned manually uh, instead of that we have implemented several algorithms to uh, randomize these generations so here maybe i can uh, visualize some of these stuff uh, so here actually we have a monolithic bp building manager component which is responsible for handling the entire map uh, so if i try to globally randomize the resource transforms you can see that everything is uh, updating on real time right and they are randomizing so in the next time when you play the game you will see that updated map right so this is the way we are going to create our map in procedural way um, and uh, yeah uh, additional to these features actually we are going to implement a save and load system uh, plus a main menu and uh, how to do a proper level transition and stuff like that as well um, but yeah so that's the uh, introduction to this tutorial series and uh, we are going to cover almost all the necessary steps that you require to understand to create your own real-time strategy game and uh, i hope you will enjoy this tutorial series and we'll see you in the next video so thank you and see you there